Coming up this week on The Archer's Choice. Bad boys are for bad boys. Well, we're out in one of our favorite spots. We're out here in Colorado with Billy and Gala. This is the Archer's Choice. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. This week we're going to go out to Colorado and go hunt them whitetails. That's it. You know, we love going out west, and Colorado is probably one of our favorite spots to go. It is, because we get to go out there, we go and hang our stands in the summertime, make sure everything And this good year to was go. crazy, because with all it that rain and all that snow, you know, in the, in the winter. A lot of tall grass. It was way over my head. Yeah, it was. It's a good thing RJ was with, he could show you where to go. <laughs> Anyways, we had a good time and we did and what else and check out because our lucky logo this week is team Realtree the ultimate in camouflage That's pretty cool Okay If you happen to see a team Realtree logo at the end of the show, we'll tell you where to go Okay, should we just go in? You're up first. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm up first. You're it's up about first. Well, time. Because last year when I shot that big buck, I really felt bad that you didn't really fill your tag so I'm gonna let you up first. Question, how many of you have added a little salt and pepper on those tags at the end of season? <laughs> Mwah. Well, let's just go. We'll it's let you. time. Yeah, okay. We got a good strong west wind, a little north. Again, the same spot. We saw a great eight point last night. And we'll see what happens. Again, the bedding area is here to the west. Food is to the east. We're trying to intercept them in between. We'll see what happens. We got a lot of clothes on because this wind is chilly. You know, if he gets out of that thick cover, he's history. stand just nothing close enough to actually get a shot at so so we thought we'd come back to this one since we saw so many of them most of the deer are coming this way coming through to get out to the winter wheat fields that are just turning green now all we can do is sit and wait it's probably not gonna have movement until almost dark because it's so warm out here
do not get off that couch because we're going to get back. We're going to see if Vicky can close a deal on her Colorado boat. How do you know they're on a couch? Don't get off the sofa. Huh. Or a chair. Maybe, maybe the tent will come chair. back. Maybe the tent point will come back and give you a shot too. Don't Absolutely. go away. Welcome back. Now let's see if you could get that wide Colorado book. He was wide. Yep, I got yeah. you a brand new ATV. That's nice, but I think you looks know. Looks like it might be a little older. It's probably for you. Older, slower. Be good for you. Hey Vic, don't you learn from your tips? Oh. <laughs> Time for this week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. This week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week is why we miss from tree stands, from any kind of elevated stand. The main cause for missing is when you're shooting on the ground, you have your perfect T formation. Your shoulders are locked in, you're tight, you're ready to go. When you're in a tree stand, some of us have a tendency of just dropping that arm rather than keeping the T formation. You have to remember, keep your T formation, bend at your waist. That's what you need to remember. That way your arrow's not gonna go over that deer next time. That was your Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. It was a 20 yard chip shot and I went right over his back. <laughs> okay, you got one on me, Ralphie. <laughs> Well, obviously she can't do it from a tree stand. Wonder if she could do it from the ground. This morning, Ralph and I decided to come down the south side and see if we couldn't spot some mule deer that maybe we could go put a stalk on. But instead, we saw, we just spotted a giant whitetail just bed down in some, it looks like maybe um dried sunflower field. I don't want to open up the back of the truck and make a lot of noise, so I'm gonna grab my bow out this way. When we come back, Green acres are good to when we come back from commercial, you don't want to go anywhere because we'll see if I can actually go ahead and get this big old buck that's well, around. Maybe because you're not up in the tree. We know where that got you. What are you trying to say? Is the place to be far. Okay, we'll be right back. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. You know, we've been asked this so much, and that is. What's your favorite animal to hunt? I don't know if it's an animal as much as it is the, the, the style of the hunt. Mm -hmm. Spotting and stalking to, to me. And out there and, in Colorado, you know, we're gonna get back into my whitetail hunt and we yep. were out looking for mule deer and, and we, we spotted saw, this whitetail and we, we so what the heck, we have nothing to lose. You have nothing and to lose. And out we went, so let's get back to that hunt, shall we? Making it happen on foot, is this the way to go or what? Thank you. 
Well, you guys saw Ralph and I went and spot and stalked a whitetail this morning. And we came looking for muleys. You know, we said, oh yeah, go down by the canal. Went looking for muleys, we spotted a whitetail. We said, what the heck, we're gonna give it a try. Got to 40 yards, I made a shot. Wasn't really sure where the shot hit. Didn't think it was the greatest shot. We decided to back out of there. We backed out, went and got you. We, we gave it plenty of time. In fact, it's afternoon now, isn't it? I don't know. I think we shot him about eight and it's- 12.08. It's 12.08. So should we go get him? Let's go get him. Let's go get him. Don't you be falling behind. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Now, what about that one, Ralphie boy, huh? Look at him. What a beautiful buck. <laughs> Billy, once again, you're awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Nick, I've got to commend you because when you talk about spotting and stalking, and to do it on a mature whitetail like that, girl. Thank you all. I have to give you some credit because you really helped me out on that hunt too. Wow. So can you say first it again? time first time ever, I'm giving him credit. That don't happen. No. But don't ask for it again. Okay. Now let's see if maybe that ten point might come back for you. Yeah. I'm let's hunting that buck. Let's go find out. I got a little thing with him. I uh, mm -hmm. I gotta put it to the test. Okay. <laughs> Hey Vic. Yeah. I think Toto might be flying around here soon. <laughs> that wind's kicking up. And there's Woo. creaking. Hey, that 10 points on his way in. Do you think maybe he'll be on his way out? On a bad boy buggy, baby. Maybe. Don't go anywhere. Yeah, we'll see. We'll find out. Woo. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Well, you know Ralph really wanted that 10 point before, but it was in the brush. Now, it's gonna give him an opportunity. Maybe he'll be out of the brush, and hopefully the barn doesn't fall before that. <laughs>
the things we really like about the rapid rails, you see this tree, how twisted and how turned and, and gnarly it is. Well, you're able to put this in because if you've ever tried to put screwing steps in a cottonwood, you know it takes about four monster big wrestling dudes to put them in. The buck didn't go far. He was, he was, he was down. He was close to our stand. And I came, I drew, drew on him and I wanted to come high. So I exited, entered high and exited low, but I was just a hair off and I spined him. So he went down right away. You can see he's right over my shoulder. Yep. Congrats. Thank you. So, let's go get the bad boy buggy and we'll get my buck out of here. Bad boys are for bad boys. No, they're not. They're for bad boys, too. Congratulations. Thank Vicky. you, Vicki. Congratulations on you. Thank you very much. I mean, it, my buck may not have been as big, but it's a good buck. I mean, every year we go out there, we get great, we see great deer. We usually get some really awesome deer, and, and we've had a lot of good luck. And we really need to thank Billy and Gala and Frank and for Frank us and out everybody. There. And, and the big thing is, remember, because we always get emails after the shows in Colorado. They're not outfitters. They're just no, friends. They're and just friends, and unfortunately, they don't want anyone else to go out there. Yeah. Well, fortunate. Thank, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Anyways, hey, if you saw the real tree lucky logo. Log on to archerschoice.com, press the little lucky logo button, some, fill out some information, let us know where you saw it, and someone's going to win some really cool Team Real Tree Team gear. Team Real Tree gear. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. So thanks again for watching this week's show. We'll see you next week. Same time. Same channel, right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. But I do have one more thing to say. Ralph still has not beat this beautiful oh. Colorado whitetail. 203, so he still has nothing okay. on me on this. I'm Who so cares excited. Because she ain't got the new deer, the new deer, the new deer. I said she ain't got the new deer. It's way bigger than her.